the, the only thing that I can really be optimistic about is the fact that at the same time as um, we've sort of moved through the whole sort of post-colonial era, if you like, or post-European colonial era, what we've got happening around the world is a lot of fake democracies. A lot of people are still pretending, try, at least trying to pretend that they're running democracies, even if in fact it's, it's electoral authoritarianism or it's a fake democracy or whatever. That's the only thing that gives me hope, that people have shifted. A lot of authoritarian regimes have, have shifted to at least pretending to be democratic. So there must be some value in at least appearing to be democratic. Um, and I suppose that's the thing that gives me some hope that maybe if we can continue to reinvent democracy that we're still on a trajectory towards where we, we'll be able to capture more of the benefits of it as a long-term traje trajectory. And I think, that, I think that humanity is on a very, very long-term trajectory. Um, and so I, it, that doesn't give you much hope, <laughs> but, but I think, um, and I think it recognises what, what you're describing. Gen it's not just democracy, it's a whole lot of things. Civic space, the, the, the recognition of the value of the rule of law and having an independent judiciary. These things are actually very often interrelated, but, but they, they're also sort of standalone indicators. And there's a lot of, a lot of those indicators are going backwards faster than they're going forwards at a global level. So I think, it, I think it's um, going to be really interesting to watch Joe Biden's democracy summit in two or three weeks' time and try and gauge sort of the, the reality of the temperature of what people are saying versus just the rhetoric of what people are saying. Um, but um, but I, think, I think it's important not to give up hope because of the fact that if people are still pretending that they want to be democracies, there's still got to be value in the concept. Otherwise, they wouldn't even bother pretending. Does anyone else want to? Oh, I was just going to say, I think that there's a, f a lot of different things happening across the world at the moment. You've got what AJ is talking about in terms of, you know, the sort of authoritarian and the totalitarian governments who pretend. Um, you've also got, you know, the polarisation of um, uh, democracies happening in the States. Uh, you've got, um, you know, other places where there are still new democracies, uh, like in Taiwan, where, you know, you might see brawls on the floor of, floor of parliament, but they don't fall into, um, you know, that category that you're talking about. And it's a really interesting thing, because I think people see that on television, they think, oh, goodness, that must be, you know, that, must, that looks like chaos. Um, well, I'd take chaos over a fake democracy any day of the week. So how do we make sure that... Um, that those things don't get misrepresented um, when you know people are trying to form democracy. I think at its core, it's about um, making sure that there's a culture towards democracy, and that's something that you can't let go of easily because there are lots of places in the world where they don't even have that. It's something we can take for granted. Mm -hmm.